is Miss Sarah in my backyard with my daughter and I'd like to read to you a story today uh, about outer space and here she is uh, we, Hi. <laughs> Cecilia <laughs> is gonna go off into outer space she's gonna go through the tunnel here this is a lesson that I've been doing for a long time at Wagner College I started doing it about 20 years ago um, when I taught at Snug Carver's art lab during the Camp Picasso and what we do is we make these jet packs out of plastic bottles. Uh, if you'd like to see, you can take a look at mine here. If you'd like to see a lesson on how we do that, uh, just comment and let me know some feedback that you want to see the uh, art activity, how to make these plastic bottle. Uh, she's wearing them upside down right now. The flame is going towards your hair, Cecilia. And we like to do this. We like to wear these jet packs while we read stories about the solar system, the sun. Um, I have four choices here for you. And uh, if I can just reach it, here's some right here. I'm gonna let you pick, Cecilia. This one, um, you know, my main topic is the sun's heat. And this book is all about stars. Stars are suns. Um, so I thought that might be fun. This one is Blast Off, which is a great one. And um, this one is Adventures in the Solar System. And then last, I have my first book about space. So which one do you want to read today, Cecilia? Um, I think I like I, I like the book Stars. Hand it to me. Okay. So. Celia chose today stars. This is a great one. We're gonna take a look quickly at it together. I hope that you find this um, read aloud fun. I'm gonna try to do some book readings on Fridays to make Fridays a little bit more fun. So here we are in um, outer space. Okay, so it says here the title is stars, okay? stars and think about what are stars how big they are um, why can't we see them in the day um, we're gonna find all about stars in this book um, I'm going to read to you right now and does it say the author there usually yeah, on the bottom it says the author or who the book is illustrated by um, this one is by Jennifer Dustling this is a book I read quite often to my students here. Stars by Jennifer Dussling. Look at the night sky. What do you see? Lots and lots of white dots. Stars. Long ago, some people said the sky was like a bowl turned upside down. I sat on the tops of mountains. The stars were holes, holes poked in the bowl. Some people made up stories about stars. One group of stars looked like a crown. People said it was the crown of a princess. A god loved the princess, but then he died. The god put her crown into the sky so he could see it forever. Today we know what a star really is. A star is a ball of burning gas. It is very hot and very bright. I'm pretty sure our sun is a star. <laughs> stars come in different colors. They are yellow stars. There are yellow stars and blue stars. There are red stars and orange stars too. But when you look up at the sky, most stars look white. Stars are big, very, very big. They only look small because they are so far away. Think of the biggest star on Earth like this. You have a soccer ball in one hand. That is the big star. You have one little grain of sand in your other hand. That is the Earth. Right? The Earth is where we live. One star is closer than the rest. It is not the biggest star, but it looks big because it is so near. We feel its heat. 
this star is the sun. Without the sun, no plants could grow. In the day, the sun is so bright, we cannot see other stars, but they are there just the same. Can you ever see stars in the day? Yes! Sometimes the moon blocks out the light from the sun. This is called an eclipse. You say it like this, eclipse. Mm. There are special ways to look at an eclipse without hurting your eyes. During the eclipse, the day gets darker and colder. The stars come out and some animals go to sleep. They think it is night, but in a few, the moon moves. In a few minutes, the moon moves. The sun comes back. It's day again. Long ago, sailors used the stars to help them cross the ocean. They made a map of stars. It showed them where they were going. Stars still help people find their way. One group of seven stars shows which way is north. These stars look like different things to different people. A bear, three birds, a hook, a wagon. We say it is a big soup spoon. We call it the Big Dipper. Look up! Can you find the Big Dipper? It's there in the night sky with all the other millions and millions of stars. Well, thank you for reading with me today. And I hope to read another story next Friday. But in the meantime, think about if you'd like to make your own jetpack. It's just a few simple materials um, that you probably have at home. Some two liter bottles work best. But these are, here are about one liter bottle and some duct tape cotton balls, colored paper, just different items that make color. This is a lot of fun to wear during this story time that I'm going to be doing on Fridays. Okay, see you next time.